that you can only modify one command or do not remove any commands from interface configuration mode in this case that is not the issue but again you always want to read from beginning to end your trouble ticket to make sure that your your um, your action that completed the task is prohibited from you to do so you always want to make sure that that they are not disallowing your fix action okay so let's go back to our topology our network diagram we see that we have a ACL inbound on R2 that's denying BGP TCP traffic so again in our ticket it says that it it's not telling us that we any particular way that we can or cannot fix this so the easiest way to do this in this instance is to go to router 2 we'll go under interface serial 00, zero and we'll just do a no IP access group 100 in so we'll just go ahead and delete the ACL from the interface and we'll do a clear access list counters now if we do a show IP access lists on R2 let's go ahead and see if we can ping 166.0.0.1 and you can see that we are successful also you can see that we got an event a BGP adjacency change neighbor 166 dot zero dot zero dot one up so on R2 now if I do a show IP BGP sorry show IP BGP sum we can see now that we have for our neighbor which is router one we see that we have been up for almost a half a minute and that we are now receiving three prefixes or three networks so let's go ahead and verify this on R1 we can see that we have a event that showed up also BGP adjacency change if we do a show IP BGP sum on R1 you can see now that for our neighbor which is R2 which is in remote AS200 we see that we have been up for almost one minute and that we ha are receiving one prefix from R2 if I do a show IP BGP on R1 we can see that it is now learning the 17424 network and putting it into its routing table indicated by the caret next to the network so if I do a show IP route on R1 we now see that we are learning the BGP route the 17424 16 network so it appears as though router 1 if I can go ahead and try to ping 174.24.0.1 from R1 you see that we have reachability so let's go ahead and go straight to router 3 and we'll go ahead and try to run that source ping again again it's going to ask us if we look at our ticket it says that we need to be able to ping with 100% success from source 183.3.3.3 to destination 174.24.0.1 so again if we go to router 3 We'll do a ping to 174.24.0.1. Again, that's the loopback zero IP address off R2. And then we will source that from our loopback zero. Or we can just put in the actual IP address, which is 183.3.3.3. So now if we go ahead and do a ping, we can see that we have reachability. and our success rate is 100% with a thousand pings. It's always good to save your configuration on the routers. Once you have all the trouble tickets and reachability has been successful, 
So again, it appears as though we have fixed both trouble tickets one and two. If we go back to the network diagram, the first problem was with our first trouble ticket, the R3 BGP neighbor statement towards R1 had the correct IP address. It had the 13.1, but it had the wrong remote AS. It had remote AS 200, which was wrong. R1 is in AS 100. Again, this is IPGP neighbor relationship, where both routers are in the same autonomous system. So once we fixed that neighbor statement, the IPGP neighbor relationship came up. Also, we turned on logging to the council and logging buffered so that we could see those error messages coming up. And then our second issue was on R2 inbound, we had a access control list that was blocking BGP traffic both sourced and from the destination for BGP traffic. So again, that was causing the BGP neighbor relationship, the external BGP neighbor relationship not to form. And that was allowing us not to be able to ping from R3's loopback zero interface to R2's loopback zero interface. So again, read through the tickets all the way. Make sure that they're not telling you that you can't perform certain actions. We read all the way through the ticket it didn't specify whether or whether or not we couldn't use any particular way to fix the issue so we just simply deleted the ACL from the interface on R2 and then we saw that our external BGP neighbor relationship came up between R1 and R2 and then we were able to successfully ping from R3's loopback 0 to R2's loopback 0 IP address So again, this is BGP Troubleshooting Lab number four. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.